Randy from Nerd Out here. Uh, just a quick, uh, you know, little video of some new things that have come in. Um, I always forget by the time I'm doing this video, it's exactly what I just put out because I really do put out things every day and get new things, both new and vintage every day. Like for example, the carbonized Boba Fett. Wow, shiny. What do we think about, what do we think about this? I think it's pretty cool. I don't know that they need to do this with every single character, but I think if a character works, it's Boba Fett, carbonized. Uh, this also, uh, did I already talk? Oh, I think I already talked about the King Kong, but uh, watch another video because I think it's super cool. I uh, got that in, uh, pretty cool. Let's see, oh, let's go to some vintage goodness. Oh yeah, what's that up there? Look at that, it's a Boulder Hill. Uh, can I get a good look at that? This was uh, in the 80s in the same realm, not quite in the same realm as the USS flag, but it definitely is up there for like one of the coolest big play sets from the 80s. Uh, this is complete minus the hoses. Uh, I did play with it for the first time. I, I did not have it as a kid, nor did I have a friend who had it. So uh, yeah, I took, uh, I took my time and I played with it. And uh, let me tell you, I really, really missed an opportunity there as a child to really have some mask adventures. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is cool. This is a reissue of the Amigo Aquaman uh, versus the Great White Shark. One of the most unusual toys, I don't know, in my opinion, ever made. I don't know if, I don't know, ever made, but what a bizarre concept. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, some of the, uh, some of the cool Micronaut uh, Palisades ones. These are infamous for um, not being well made, but uh, with that said, they're, they're really rare and... Uh, the Micronauts line is uh, really one of the coolest lines. Speaking of Micronauts, uh, let's see. I did get some really nice Micronauts stuff. I'm gonna have to come behind the counter yet because I haven't put them out yet. Actually, I haven't even, this is this is hardcore serious, like a, the Cario uh, with the paper uh, work. I don't even know what, uh, I can't even find much research on it. So I haven't done any, any dealio pricing on that or whatever that's not as stupid but whatever i haven't priced it yet and then also uh fantastic ferroid in the package unpunched uh micronauts was a couple years before my time i remember my brother had a couple that kind of kind of ages me um and they were awesome i really would have been hardcore into these had i been if, if i was two years older two years older in addition i have a couple other loose ferroids uh complete and uh, I really like Micronauts. Micronauts, if, if, if I wasn't as uh, crazy and compulsive as I am, I would collect them all. Uh, but then I'd have to have the Microman stuff from Japan and uh, so forth, so, so on and so forth. Uh, let's see. Um, some stuff I haven't put out yet. Oh, my favorite monster figures of all time. The Remco 3 and 3 4 inch Universal Monsters. And look at the condition of these glow-in-the-dark ones. The noses are always damaged on these, and these are pretty solid. I'm not going to say this one has a little bit of damage in the nose, but uh, for the most part, um, they look good. I love this toy line. Uh, the Mummy, the Creature from the Black Lagoon, and the Wolfman are the rarest ones and the ones that I do not have here. But uh, this is my favorite Universal Monsters and one of my favorite action figure lines in general. I put them out every Halloween. Uh, just to be enjoyed. Uh, coming over here, I just got a collection of the Swamp Thing action figures uh, going into the 90s. And, and honestly, this is just one of the 90s action figure lines that I really appreciate. And uh, I think it's starting to be appreciated now. Just like cool character designs, the fact that they made Swamp Thing figures of everything uh, out of everything, uh, such an obscure character to begin with. Uh, I did love the Swamp Thing, the original first Swamp Thing movie. I saw that as a kid and it would terrify me, especially when he would transform. We'd go into like a cocoon or something and he would transform into, into this like creature. Arcane did, when Arcane did. And I would, I freaked out. I remember, I'll never forget that. Like I had just like a total psychological effect on me and forever. Uh, let's see, more Micronaut stuff. Um, getting ready for the holidays with a giant size. Rudolph and the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Charlie in the box. Um, I had a few other things I really wanted to show. Oh, there is something awesome. Uh, some more Kaju stuff. Getting more into the Kaju. Uh, I've refilled some of these showcases. Oh, here's one. Oh, yeah, I already talked about that. So I got to remember what I talked about and what I didn't. And it's very challenging to do. 
I'll just walk around real quick. I, I really have uh, a lot of stuff that I'm putting out that I haven't gotten to. Um, these are always fun. This is one of the most popular things I have is my bin of stickers. Uh, there really is, you know, I probably talked about these too, but whatever, talk about them again. Just some really deep cuts and just really interesting stickers and like, seriously, people will, will sit here for like an hour going through them all. And there's some really like different, I'm trying to find some of the really deep, deep cuts in there. There's like, you know, obviously we're seeing like, we're seeing like Avengers and stuff, but it, like, that's cool. Like, I don't really know what it's re referencing, but it's a hand with a mouth in it. Like, that's cool. And then there's like a whole bunch of stuff in there like that. Again, we could probably sit here. There's a lot of superhero stuff in here, but you know, some good old 90s grunge. Why not, right? And there's some 80s and 70s. Uh, let's see. I think I'll just walk around and see. I've been, I've been, this has nothing to do with sales, but I've been hanging up these cool, um, old action figure checklists and stuff all over the shop with like some empty wall space. Uh, they're not necessarily for sale, but I really think that one of the most magical things about action figure collecting was getting the pamphlets inside of the box or the package to see what figures were out there or what was coming up. So you could, you could collect them all. And it was really awesome. And I think it's one thing that current action figures don't tend to include. And I really wish they did. Oh, I got these in. These are cool. Um, these are the Back to the Future Toon figures. I believe they are based off a cartoon, and I don't remember the cartoon. But with that said, uh, they have a lot of personality. Uh, so there's, there's that. Let's see. Getting ready for Halloween. I've shown some of this, but uh, getting that, you know, my boss fight stuff. Uh, not many people, not many retail stores carry boss fight stuff, and it's really unfortunate because they are really, really fun action figures and they're really great for customizing if you if you're into that thing and i do carry them and uh, i restock them often so that's that's exciting um got to restock of some of those uh the newer Mego figures kiss dracula things like that those are a lot of fun i did restock the uh funko pops finally so there are some new ones there i got a ton of new marvel legends loose figures and uh there's a couple of the of the um what are those? The Amazing Yamaguchi Revol Tech figures, however you pronounce it, Revol Tech, Revol Tech. I am not a big fan of them personally. I'm just always being honest. But I do know that people very much enjoy them and love the posability and love the dynamic posing. I'm not going to argue with someone. I personally find them frustrating, but to each his own, right? That's what it's all about. Let's see some Carter DC Universe classics, a bunch of loose. I've gone through these Universe classics before. Always getting new stuff. Uh, put out some new Star Wars figures, vintage and whatnot. I think I'm pretty basically caught up. We'll keep this one short and sweet. I, I really have put out a lot of new stuff and I've got piles of stuff to put out. I don't want to get too showy there, but I've got a piles of stuff I, I have to put out still. So come on by 8106 West Nine Mile Road in Oak Park, Michigan, near uh, in the Metro Detroit area. Uh, yeah, I think it's worth the trip. Um, I think it's a lot of fun. You're going to find something interesting if you like this kind of stuff. So uh, come join us and nerd out.